Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in a retirement and having. I'm literally sitting down because the Lord said go sit down when I expected to be leaving to go someplace else and a white automobile, an actual Audi and luxury sedan or what you might call a wagon, drove by with someone waving at me. Again this morning my beard is shorter and I guess I don't have the right in America to sleep without some molester, some bitch from some store, stealing from me and hazing me and trying to teach me some motherfucking moral lesson because here's the other problem. My marvelous gray shirt, of which I had on underneath one of my flame shirts, is now off of me. I didn't personally take it off of me. So what I'm going to ask to America is who has the motherfucking right to touch you and molest you today? Who gets that opportunity? Who's allowed to do that? You see, when I was in jail because of a situation of not that I couldn't make bail, but because when I went to do this little process that some fucking bitch who has no degree in mental health wanted me to do, a judge named Amy, who was over that fucking court eight, every time I went someplace to do that evaluation, to get another evaluation, that was right for me and not guided and controlled by a sheriff force, I would be impeded and interfered with. The people there would act like they had just gotten a call or gotten some sort of information. So let's talk about what Americans police officers are and are un allowed to do. Let's talk about what a community ridden, ridden with illness and arrogance by Pence is allowed to do. When I was in jail, Someone sort of threatened me, and I told the sheriff, as we're supposed to, and instead of removing him, they removed me. I got stuck in three months of fucking solitary, and during that time, they tied my beautiful pagan priest beard in a knot. They shaved my body and my legs. I didn't want them to do that, but clearly I was asleep for three days. They also shaved down in my nether reasons, and I know that because, let's face it, every fucking one of us knows what is and isn't appropriate for us, and what we do and don't want down there. But since I've been on this fucking asinine immoral campus of University of Illinois, someone else did that again. Actually cut my privates, making it different for, difficult for blood to flow. And I'm pretty sure it's the Muslims or the Arabs because one time a man gave me 50 bucks towards my ministry, and the next day I had pins in my feet. So let's talk about the immoralness of people the immoralness of brothers and sisters, the immoralness of you, and the immoralness of me. What I choose to do for my life, my faith, my body, belongs to me. What you choose to do for you, your life, your faith, your body, belongs to you. But if you keep fucking thinking that you're going to touch me and get away with it, you're out of your fucking mind. Because basically what you're saying is, you're mine, and no offense, at no time did I sign up to be your slave. At no time did I sign up to be some fat bitch who works at a pet shop idea of a game. She can take her little fucking phone and shove it up her ass. I'm going to put an FBI agent in again and again until they find her classless little shit body. But I know that because we've already had FBI on this strip a hundred times this past week. We've also had sheriff, not in their regular clothes, coming in and out of these shops. And I'm going to keep pushing for them to find the gamers who do shit like this. And we're going to put every fucking one of them in jail. And what they'll do instead of listening to reason is they'll call police. And they'll just keep making lying records. They'll keep stealing ideas. They'll keep stealing my face. But let me tell you, it's a disgrace. You've disgraced yourself in front of God. You have absolutely disgraced yourself in God. Because here's the passages in the Bible. Do this in remembrance of me. So let me ask you, if you're a moralist, if you're someone who thinks that Jesus is in your life, who the fuck are you today? When you stand in front of the Lord Jesus, what are you going to say to him? I did that in remembrance of you. I shaved the man's beard off in remembrance of you. I shaved the man's body in remembrance of you. I tied a man's beard in the knot in remembrance of you. Or in front of Muhammad or whatever the fuck you believe in. Maybe it's Ganesh, and if that's Ganesh, then you really fucked yourself. Because what was Ganesh really originally looking like versus what the Indians are now trying to force him to look like. But in this world of people, you don't have one fucking right to touch me. In this world of America, you don't have one moral fucking right to touch my face. 
in this world of America, you don't have one fucking right to touch my body. And in this world of America, you don't have one fucking right to touch my friends and the people that I love the most. But let me tell you, what you've been doing was stealing my property, taking my paperwork, readjusting my name, doing all this fucking shit you're doing. You're still going to be standing before God. And what he's going to look at you with Jesus next to him and, and at his right hand saying, Who the fuck are you? That's my child. Who the fuck are you? His soul is mine, not yours.